Hi, this is Pratik Sana from Alt News. Today, a French security researcher has claimed that Mr. Narendra Modi's Android app is uh, actually sharing your personal data with a third, part third party website without your consent. So, we are going to quickly check whether that is the case or not. The software that you see on the left of your screen is a software called Charles, which is essentially going to intercept the traffic between my phone here and the outside world that is, you know, information that is going to travel over the internet. Uh, so this is, my phone is configured to send the traffic through my laptop and through this particular software. So uh, I have Mr. Modi's app installed on my phone and I'm going to quickly click on that. What you'll see on the left is a flurry of activity. Uh, and I just clicked on the application and you see that this is contacting api.nayandramodi.in and it is contacting a website called in.wzrkt.com now this is a website of interest what you'll see is that you know these are the already it has transacted about uh, six seven times with this particular website and you'll see that as we go further it will transact many more times now I'm going to quickly cl click on the sign up button here and uh, uh, it is asking me for my name my email ID so I'm going to enter, enter some random details Pratik Pratik at XYZ ABC.com it's asking for a password, so I'm going to enter a random password and I'm going to click on the next button here. So in the next screen, it's asking me for, you know, this uh, my information as to which country I live in. I'm going to just select India, state of, it's taking a little time to load. Um, state is Gujarat, district is Ahmedabad, uh, I'll select the area that I live in and then I'm going to click on the next button and then it's asking me for another screen where it's asking me for certain details, you know, describe yourself in 500 characters and I'm going to skip this and I'm going to click on done. So now it says that I have been successfully registered. Now, let's see the information that I did put in uh, was sent to this in.wzrkt.com or not. And what we will see is yeah, so what we see is here, you know, in one of the transactions, it has sent you sent your profile. And if you expand that, what you'll see is that uh, it has sent your email ID. Uh, here I had used Pratik at xyzabc.com as my email. And I specified my name as Pratik. And it has sent your gender, that is male. It has sent your career, that is idea. So any information that was there in the sign up screen and some more has been sent to this website. And at no point in this whole process was I asked whether I want to send information to this website or not. My consent was not asked for. So um, what the French security researcher is claiming is indeed true that uh, Mr. Modi's app is sending uh, personal details of an individual to a third party website without the user's consent. Thank you. This is Pratik Sana from Alt News.